I want to welcome everybody to our NCAA 09 draft party. As uh, I think everybody knows by now, this is our third event. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Madden Challenge, how the Madden Challenge kicks off Super Bowl weekend. Our event here kicks off, of course, the NFL Draft Weekend. And we're delighted to have a number of the players who we're going to bring up later on. They're going to be, I think, some of the top ten picks that are going to go out this weekend. And uh, their lives are going to be changed forever by Saturday evening. I want to welcome everybody on behalf of VA Sports. Uh, we're going to give you some uh, hands-on time, as you know, with NCAA 09. We're very, very proud about the game and excited to show it to you here this evening. Uh, this is a great venue, as you can see. You're going to see a lot of the players coming through over the evening. Feel free to stop them and chat. Uh, I'm going to turn it over right now to the development team to take you through the game, and then I'll be back on to introduce some of the players. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave Ross, and I'm the project lead for NCAA Football 09. And this is Ben Hahn. Miller. Ben is one of the designers on the team. He's actually responsible for a very important feature that we're going to be talking about this evening. Following up on NCAA 8 was a daunting task for our team because that was an award-winning title, and we were challenged with making a great game better. And what our team focused on this year was three main things, and that was collegiate atmosphere, it was wide open gameplay, and it was Ben's feature, Online Dynasty. We're bringing Dynasty to online, which is a very exciting feature that we're presenting here tonight. As we get into the game, you'll notice that the game has a complete new facelift this year that goes along with the collegiate atmosphere aspects of the product. We think that this is the best looking NCAA product that we've ever done, and we're really happy with it. When this, as, a, as we start going into the stadium, you'll notice that we have a brand new lighting system in the game this year, and it, which really brings the field and the fans to life. We've got new field textures going on, we've got new player models in the game, we've got new animations that are specific for NCAA football, and uh, right here, this shot's a good one to kind of see the crowded sidelines. Before NCAA games have been sparse on the sidelines, and we've added a variety of player models, we've added cheerleaders, we've added mascots, uh, we've added security, and uh, it's really great that when you're driving down the field here in a moment, you see all of these things on the sideline. So it really brings the atmosphere to life. It's all about... Nice, Ben. Ben. Okay, I have to fess up. I asked Ben to play this on freshman mode, which is the easiest mode of the game, because he wanted to show off some great aspects of the game. So that... so. When it comes to collegiate atmosphere, it is about all of the, you know, the great looks and all of the player models and everything like that, but it's also about how atmosphere influences gameplay and how gameplay influences atmosphere. So one of the things that uh, proves that was that just for fun, when he scored a touchdown, he was able to run over and celebrate with the mascot. He'll also be able to celebrate with opposing teams' mascots as well. Well, not really a celebration, more of kind of like giving them a little dig or something like that. And then, of course, more importantly, with regard to the crowd, the crowd can really get pumped up and it can improve your performance on the field. Likewise, if you're in the middle of, uh, if you're throwing some interceptions, if you're fumbling, if you're starting to lose games, the crowd will start to get, will start to go away. And if you can already hear the crowd roars right now in this presentation, but as the crowd starts to go so will the sounds as well. And all of that affects your quarterback's composure. So what I mean by that is that you have a certain ability level and as you start to become uh, more, or if, if, as you start to lose your composure, you start to become a little bit more rattled. So right now, my, my quarterback's already losing some of his composure. I don't know who uh, is going to actually be able to be receiving the ball, what buttons I'm going to press. His, his route lines are getting all uh, squiggly, and so it's just not as clear. So if I continue to throw uh, interceptions, if I... Well, something like that's going to help me improve my composure. So, so as long as I can uh, knock off a big play, that's really great. So the first three things that I told you guys about was it was about collegiate atmosphere, it was about wide open gameplay, and it was about online dynasty. So we're kind of transitioning into the wide open gameplay aspects here pretty quickly. And what I want to point out about that is it's about college football. It's about the electricity of Saturday afternoon football. It's about different programs matching up against different programs. It's about different athletes with different abilities and skill sets, different ages. So it's about the opportunity to break open a big run. It's an opportunity to break open a big pass or, or complete a large pass and, and have success with that. And in order to achieve that, we didn't just dumb down the defense in order to make that happen. It's, just, it's about matching 
uh, program to program and, and tune the game appropriately to, to, to uh, be relative to the actual type of product that you're, or the type of team that you're playing up against. So Max nice play again. So, so Ben had an opportunity to celebrate with, uh, with the teammate at that point. So another aspect, you know, other focuses that we had in the game this year was we wanted to make subtle improvements to the game. And I think what Ben's going to do right here is he's going to, after he does this, he's, he will probably go into Super Sim. Now Super Sim is a feature that we had in the game last year. But we spent a lot of time this year kind of fine-tuning the flow of our game. And so what we did is we added Super Sim to our play call screen. So it doesn't take you out of the realm of being on the field. It, it, it basically just it makes it a lot more streamlined. What SuperSim does for those people that don't, that don't understand that feature, don't know about that feature, is it allows you to progress through a certain aspect of the game. So if you're not, you know, if you want to finish up a quarter really fast, you can do that. If you want to sim through the defensive aspects and get back to playing the offense, which is what Ben's doing right now, you can do that. So you can basically customize the game any way you want as far as, as, far as how you actually experience the play call aspects of it. Going back, and touching on atmosphere because when I mentioned customization, that reminded me of something. We have a we have a feature. Oh, nice bottle right there. But looks like Ben threw in an interception. So this is another aspect of gameplay and composure element where if you uh, throw an interception, you come up with a quarterback quiz. There's a countdown timer here. You have an opportunity to identify the defense that was running against you when the interception happened. And if you get it right, you maintain your composure. But if you, but if you uh, get it wrong, then your composure decreases and those lines become more squiggly and it becomes more difficult for you to play. We have a new animation system in the game this year. The animation system uh, basically allows you to transition from uh, animation to animation seamlessly. It breaks off in the middle of an animation. So what that results in is it results in player movement that is much more realistic and natural for, you know, for a human being, basically. In the past, we used to have to play an animation, let that animation finish, and then play another animation. And it just didn't feel as natural as, as this new uh, animation system does. And so it's something that we're very excited about in the game this year. We think it's a big deal because it also improves the way that the game feels when you're holding on to the controller. When you're holding on to the, so the game runs at 60 frames a second this year on the PS3 and on the X360. And so that's great. That, that really helps the reaction time. That really helps how the game feels from a controllability standpoint. And then our new animation system comes in on top of that. It's just a nice layer to help bring that sense of realism to life and control the life as you're playing the game. So once again, I just want to finish up and I just want to remember to hit home on those three things that we focused on this year, which was collegiate atmosphere, wide open gameplay, and our online dynasty feature. And uh, thank you all for your time. All right, uh, we're going to have a great time this evening. I want to, first of all, uh, we've got about 10 of the uh, top 20 athletes coming in, top 20 draft picks. Uh, we already have four here that I'm going to bring onto the stage and introduce. Where's my golden bear? Where yeah. is Deshaun Jackson? Deshaun! Where's Deshaun? Where is he? This is my bro, Deshaun, number one, golden bears. Golden bears! 4.3 in the 40. He may only be 169 pounds. 176 is eating. 5'11-ish. Deshaun! Looking great. Darren McFadden, everybody. First of all, congratulate Darren and Owen and Deshaun. Uh, it's going to be an exciting weekend. Your life is going to be completely changed by Saturday evening. I uh, want to uh, welcome you. And again, thanks for your support of EA Sports and NCAA. Uh, 09 football. Wish you the best for this weekend. Um, you guys have a great time.